Set. Person on the ground, you're going to be doing the same thing. Outside leg crosses and returns. Okay? Cross, return. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get some tension on this baby. All right, so Ariel's going to start behind your bosu, step out the side so she has that diagonal pattern in. How's that feel for tension? My life's going to be easy, so you've got to tell me how it feels. All right, so we're going to both outside leg cross, and we're going to try to hold this center the whole time. So when we go in together, and one of us can call out cross. So we're here. Then we're gonna drive power away, load. Okay, so try to keep center. Cross, load. Cross, load. It's hard, isn't it? So it's cross, load. Yeah. Let's go outside and load, yeah. And try to keep that center. Hold, okay? Let's just work that. Beautiful. Nice. And then, so we'll do outside leg. So here we go. Hold center. Let's all do it together. Now I'll give you a pause on the way back. So watch it once. Cross, load. Cross, load. Okay, so here we go. Everybody's going toward each other. Okay, so here we go. Outside leg. Your outside leg is always crossing. Be safe, you guys. Okay, so here we go. Doesn't matter which leg. Cross. Return. Cross. Return. Hold that center. Cross. Return. Can you turn around and do it the other way? Lead out. There you go. Hit that both two on the floor. Cross. Return. Cross. Hey, if you get slack in the middle, get more tension. Try to keep not too much slop in the middle. Excellent. Good. And then it's not a, a whole lot of difference on the bow suit, but it's just that drive in where you're going to cross, drive, cross, Drive, cross, drive. So a lot of times if you don't have a variable partner that's changing the effect, sometimes it's almost better. But a lot of times moving away, coming back together really works well. All right, we're going to combine this drill now. And this, this one's a little bit easier. All we're going to do, outside leg, we're both going to cross. So we've got quite a bit of tension. We're going to cross, return, and we're going to go two shuffles to the middle. So we shuffle, shuffle, drill loose here. Shuffle, shuffle, cross, low, quick, quick. Shuffle, shuffle, cross, low, quick, quick. One more time out, you guys got it? Work it with your partner, all right? So it's a cross, return, shuffle to the middle, two shuffles out, cross, return. If you need a vision of it, I'll do it up here. So it's that cross, return, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle back, cross, return, outside leg, shuffle, shuffle. So again, these are movement patterns you got to own. We're adding low complexity, you got to start thinking. Turn around, do it the other way. If you're using a bow still, one of you can do that, otherwise you can work it on the floor. It's about the movement patterns, not the equipment. So we can do anything we want with stability and stability and load. That's nice. Look at, look at it. Go, bang, bang. That's how it looks. That's how it's supposed to look. Quick, quick. Once they own these drills, go, go. Quick, quick. Go, go. All right. So that's what that is. All right. Now, if you guys would, what I want you to do is partner up again. And we're going to have the athlete get on the mount or the balance ball. They're going to rotate down into supine bridge position. Okay? And all I want you to do, I want you to work on this spot. So the cardio moves to her right here. Go ahead and move to, is that your right? Yeah. Yeah, rotate right. Look what I can do with this ball. 
I can really help her work on that rotation as she's keeping those hips level, and then she can come back, okay? Now, what I want you to do on this is, is basically, we're gonna prep this, and what I would normally do, if I had two ballast balls, Ariana eventually would move the tubing, and I'll show it to you in a second. But all I want you to do is, on the ballast ball, is you're gonna prep side, rotate side, slow, and return. We'll just do it on one side. Slow and return. Now as a trainer, if I wanted to, go ahead and come back. I can facilitate that mobility by using the ball to push that rotation. All right now I want to remove quick down and hold. And then return back. Quick down, power down, and slow back. Now I want you to power down and power back. So you guys know those sequences. Power down, hold, power up. And then it's a quick couple, down. Okay, and then work with one side. Can you bring your partner through that? So it's slow, slow, quick hold, return, quick hold, return, quick hold, quick back, quick hold, quick back, quick back, quick back. come on. Oh, thank you, you can do it, you can do it. And every, every couple that looks like you guys, every one looks like that. If I'm gonna pull, it's slow, 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 quick hold, slow up, quick down, slow up, then it's quick down, hold, quick up. No matter what body position you're in, then it's quick, quick. That's your build on those ballistic movements. And that's what you start seeing continuity in the twist programs. You go, that's how it works, whether you're doing a plyometric jump on the floor or not. Remember which side you did it on. You're only going to do it on one side, and we'll do the other side with tubing. Alright. So you guys, Ariel's reminding people, hips stay up, chin neutral, the ball is across the shoulders, not a lot of weight on the neck. Okay, your head should be free even though it is contacting the ball, not too much load. All right. Excellent. Okay. You guys got it? Got it pretty much now. Watch, if you would, just for a second, RL and I do this. On the... Can I steal your bounce or can I use this bounce ball? Is anybody even using this? All right. This is how I might teach this in a group situation. Okay? So we've got a good, good amount of load here. And I'll lead it, okay? Now we got good... How's that feel so far for tension? All right, good still? All right, so here we go. I'm gonna have Ariel start slow down. She returns and say go. All right, I'm gonna go slow down, go. One more prep. And now quick down, hold, and return. And then she's gonna say go, quick, and return. One more time, quick, return, go. That's it. And then I'm going to go quick down, quick back. Quick, quick. And then eventually it's going to be quick, quick, boom, boom. And then let's both do it at the same time. Couple down and back. Set, go. That's it. Set, go. Get the idea? And we can really load that up. Alright? So any of these things done from seated, supine, or whatever work totally well. I can also have this anchored to a smith rack or something like that and then I can go up and coach my athlete and rotate and work with them with that ball movement. So that's that upper, upper body bridge rotation. Alright, we're going to move a little bit into integrating balance into an SAQ type foundation. We're going to start to move a little quicker. Good recruitment, all based on the foundation that Scott's building over there in terms of these forward pedaling and running movements, open step, drop step, and so on. And we can ramp it up from 50% when you're learning it, cognitive, a little bit moderate, 70% where you have the skill down associative, and then back to 100% effort when we own it, when it's automatic. All right, so. What we're going to do is this balance.